everyone, Corey here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Crisis 2. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what's on the demo, what you should use to be good at the demo, what you should use to be good at the game when the game comes out, and all that other stuff that you need to know that you just want to know. So, hopefully guys will sit back, enjoy the video, and let's get started. Alright, the full multiplayer experience will include 6 game modes, 12 New York City locations, 4 classes plus 5 custom classes, 50 multiplayer ranks, 20 plus nano suit modules, which are kind of like the perks, 200 do plus dog tags to collect, 200 skill assessments, and more. Today I'll be showing you everything in the demo, so uh, let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to be talking to you guys about everything that's on the Crisis 2 demo. Um, this will also be on the game, so it'll help you out when the game's out, depending on when you're watching this video. But this is going to be a tutorial <coughs> of what you want to do and what's good and all that stuff and what you can get in the game. So let's go. For First, we're going to go to... Um, oops. We're going to we're gonna talk to you guys about the stuff that's in the game. There's, sort, there's support bonuses. These are what you guys call kill streaks. Um... The maximum radar is one in the demo, and it's like a UAV. The next one is a radar jammer. Now, it's also in the demo, but it's on a different map, and they took that map out of the game, so you can't use it, but it's like a, you know, it's like a counter UAV. The next one is a nano suit jammer. Now, this one is not in the demo, but I think if I'm correct in how it sounds like, it sounds like it's like it jams the nano suits of the enemies for a certain amount of time, so they can't use their, their suit, which would be they can't use armor, they can't use... Um, they're cloaking, they can't use their super jump and all that stuff, which, if that's the case, that's going to be amazing and very powerful because then you have armor, they don't, you're going to win every fight. The next one is the Ceph Airstrike, which is the one you get at 7. Um, also, uh, the Radar Jammer, I mean, the Maximum Radar is a 3, I'm not sure what the other ones are. But the Ceph Airstrike is, uh, you get it at level 7, and it's like that airstrike in the sky. Um, there, You can, like, stay away from it, and you can shoot it down. It doesn't take that many bullets to shoot it down. I think maybe three clips, which isn't like of your scar ammo, maybe four. I'm not sure. It's around there. Um, but you can shoot it down. Get like you and your other friend just to start shooting at it. And you can also uh, there's also a counter to it. Um, the other one's a maximum nano suit. Now I think this is like you have infinite an uh, nano suit for a certain amount of time. I'm not sure because it's not out yet. But if so, that's awesome as well. And then the last one is Orbital Strike, which is a thing. It shoots down a laser and it kills enemy, uh, everyone in that area of the enemy team. So you want to like drop it in the right spot and it'll kill them. And it also goes a direction. Now, on Skyline, you only get three of them. You can't choose which ones you want. It's like everyone has the same one. So I'm thinking it's different kill, uh, different. Uh, support bonuses for that map that you're playing on which if that's cool if that's the case and that's pretty cool because then everyone has the same kill streaks or support bonuses um, it also keeps track of stuff you use like armor stealth and power and then the game types are team instant action which is like team deathmatch the other one is crash site and that is like headquarters those are both on the demo right now the next one is Assault, which I'm not exactly sure what it does. Uh, might be like Domination, Demolition, or something else. Something else. The other one's Capture the Relay, kind of like Capture the Flag. The other one is Extraction, which again, I'm not sure what it is. It might be Domination, Demolition, or something else. And then the last one is Instant Action, which is going to be Free For All. So that's all the game types and all the support bonuses and stuff like that. And also for the ranking, the ranking level go does go to 50. Um, the demo stops at 10. As you can see, I'm max demo reached. Um, but on the left is like your level. You get this by getting kills and all that other stuff. And then on the right is the power, armor, and stealth. You level these things up by doing, um, by, um, what am I trying to say? By getting like uh, kills using the power and armor and stealth stuff. Also, um, depending on what level you are, that's how much you unlock. So right now I only have the first three unlocked of each thing, and yeah. So we'll get to you'll see what the other ones are. So here's the unlocks. It does tell you. Um, I'm not sure if these stats are actually right. It says four or four game types, but we know there's six. Uh, six out of sixty-six attachments. I'm not sure class. It says five out of eleven, but they say there's four classes and five uh, like create your own classes. So I'm not sure if there's actually 11. If so, there might be two more in the future. I'm not sure, like in the actual game. Then there's modules. So I'm not sure about these stats. But it does tell you the module upgrade, like the stuff you have for unlocks, which you get by doing stuff. Um, the weapons unlocks, the attachment unlocks, class unlocks, and dog tags unlocks. Um, here are the skill assessments. You have weapons. And right here is uh, this is how you unlock stuff for your weapons. Like you have to get... Um, 
first one is level one you have to get 20 kills with the scar and then that will unlock something you can put on your scar like which you'll see I'm pretty sure that's how it does it and then it has all the guns I'm not sure about the headshots if they actually unlock stuff or just give you XP but uh yeah uh, here's the attachments again I'm not sure if th these might just give you XP I'm not exactly sure um, but these ones are unlocked I mean are locked these ones are unlocked and I got all of them completed and then the armor modules which are, I'll show you in a little bit so this is just to check to see how many all at once and then there's dog tags these are kind of like your player card like on Call of Duty you get a set ones at the beginning then you can unlock these I'm not exactly sure how you unlock these I think maybe by killing people you can unlock them but it stops letting you unlock um, after you have, I'm not sure how many of these. Next ones are medals. I'm not sure how you get these. And then awards, you get these by doing stuff like most enemies shot in the back. Then you can have a clan tag. Uh, next is um, the customized equipment. We're going to talk about all the guns and stuff. So, not in the, like the guns that they have listed so far is the feline and the K vault. These are both unlocked, and these are I mean both locked. Sorry, both locked, and these are both submachine guns. I'm pretty sure, as you can see, there's more space for maybe two more. Not sure. Um, the K vault is kind of like the vector from Call of Duty: Modern Warfare 2. The next one that you can actually use, uh, you have the ones that are unlocked are Scar, DSG1, Jackal, and the MK16 mod. But uh, there's the Scar, the Scarab. And the Grendel, these are both, uh, these are all three assault rifles, and it looks like there's one more for another secret assault rifle. I'm not sure how you get it. Maybe you have to be level higher. But for the Scar, there are attachments that you can get. Like I said, you uh, complete kills with them, and then you can unlock this stuff. So right now I have the Reflex that I can put on like that. Um, there's also a Assault Scope, which is locked, and the Rifle Laser, which is probably like a beam, so you can see where you're shooting. The suppressor is unlocked. I don't use it because it slows down your mobility, makes you a little bit slower, and it does do less damage. I don't think it says it does, but it seems like it does. And then the last ones are the, well, these are barrels. And there might be two more barrel attachments. I'm not sure. <clears throat> and then the last ones are under barrel. You have the single shot, which uh, it lets you hit the left analog stick. I mean, the left directional pad, you can switch to a single shot for, like, um, more accuracy at distance, but it seems really weak, so I don't do it. I just uh, pepper my shots or like just tap the trigger with automatic. Then you have extended mags, grenade launcher, Gauss. This shoots out a uh, a miniaturized electromagnetic uh, a miniaturized electromagnetic solid slug projector. Um, there is a sniper called the Gauss sniper, which I'll talk to you in a bit. But um, what it is is it's like a bullet with magnets in it, and then they, they spin around. And I'm not exactly sure what it does. You will have to Google it if you want to know. And then there's a shotgun attachment and the hologram. The hologram slows you down, so I don't like using it, and it seems kind of pointless. But what it is is you hit the left analog stick, you hit the right trigger, it'll throw out a hologram that will walk straight, kind of like on Halo. Um, but, it, but then you have to switch back to uh, your gun to be able to shoot, so it seems like a waste of a thing. Next one is the snipers. There are two snipers. There, it does look like this, there's space for two more snipers, so I'm not sure. But uh, the one sniper is a uh, semi-automatic DSG-1. Um, you can have the sniper scope on it, and it is a variable sniper scope, so you can zoom in twice. Uh, you can zoom in. Like, you can aim, and then you can zoom in more for the precise headshot. You can also get the reflex sight on it and the assault scope, which is kind of like an ACOG scope. You can also get the suppressor, and you can get extended mags. The snipers in this game aren't that great. Um, it's without arm. With if the enemy doesn't have armor on, it's a one-shot headshot, which seems good. If the enemy does have armor on it, it's I believe it's a two-shot headshot. If you don't shoot the guy in the head, it takes two shots. If he doesn't have armor on, and if he does have armor on, it takes four shots. So <clears throat> you're pretty much not going to kill a guy that has armor on. So. I don't really use the snipers. The Gauss, like I said, it's electromagnetic anti-material rifle. It shoots out electro electromagnetics, like a magnet bullet that spins. And again, Google it. I'm not sure, but it does seem like it's a bolt action of sorts, and it does a lot more damage. So it might kill in one shot or two shots if the enemy has armor on. Next ones are the shotguns. We have the Jackal that you can play in the game, and then you have the Marshall, which looks like the M10 from Call of Duty, but it is a uh, pump action, so I'm not sure how that would work. So let's talk about the Jackal. The Jackal, you can get the Reflex Sight, Extended Mags, or the Hologram. Again, I don't use a Hologram, so I'd probably just put on Extended Mags, and uh, it's it's better you just hit fire with the, sh the shotgun, so you don't really need the Reflex Sight. And then the last three guns that are, in the, that are shown is the MK60, which is a machine gun. The LTAG, which is a launcher. It's tactical airburst grenades. It's like the thumper on Call of Duty. It has the same, like, pretty much stats. So I'm, 
I guess you can just shoot a lot of bullets into people. I'm not exactly sure. And then uh, the mic, the X43 mic. Microwave incend incendiary, I said that wrong, sorry. Klystron emitter. It, to me, it seems like a flamethrower, and that's pretty badass if it's a flamethrower. And then it also looks like there's room for at least one more other weapon. And then he, let's talk about the M60. You can get the reflex sight on it, which I use. It's a really good gun. I do have a gameplay, a flawless gameplay that might be up already. You should go check it out if you want to see this in action. You can get the assault rifle, extended mags, or the hologram. Again, I don't use a hologram. So that's all the guns, uh, all the primary guns. Next are pistols. Um, the Nova semi-automatic pistol, um, M12. Uh, you can get the pistol laser on it, which is kind of like, I guess, a like I was saying, it's like a red dot that shoots a laser. Or a suppressor or extended mags. Suppressor makes it kind of weak, and the damage on this gun sucks, so I probably wouldn't even use that. Um, but you would not show up on radar, so if you want to be really stealthy, I guess use the silencer. And then I would probably just use extended mags or the pistol laser. Next is a hammer, which is a heavy revolver. I'm not exactly sure what this is. It looks just like a better pistol. Oops, better pi Sorry, this one is it. <laughs> um, heavy semi-automatic pistol, so it, it seems like it's a stronger pistol. Um, and then the Majestic, which is heavy revolver. This looks kind of cool. Might use this. And then there's the machine pistol, which is a, it's like a mini Uzi at your side. Uh, it has uh, crappy damage, but a, a high rate of fire, so it might kill them. I'm not sure. Then for the explosives, you have the frag grenade, the M17 frag, which is a frag grenade. You can get a kill with it, or the flash grenade in the demo. And then the other ones that are locked are the C4 and the, oops, sorry, C4, which is advanced explosive charge. I'm not sure how many you get probably two and then the rocket launcher which uh i'm not sure what it looks like but it's, it's a rocket launcher it takes out the the set the Seth gunship you could probably kill the enemies with it, it seems pretty cool i'd probably use this um because i really don't get frag grenade kills um you hit you use this by hitting the left directional pad and then you use the right trigger to throw it um so i'd probably just run with the jaw Next one are suit modules. These are kind of like perks like in Call of Duty, but they're called suit modules. And every uh, all of them have two upgrades. They have an upgrade and an advanced upgrade. So let's talk about the armor. There's three types. There's armor, stealth, and power. Like I said, we're going to do armor. So the first one is air stomp. You perform a powerful downwards attack when in the air. I don't use this. It seems really weak. The upgrade version might be better, but it's really hard to get the upgrade version. What you have to do is you have to weaken an enemy, jump in the air, and then pound the ground by pressing the crouch button and hope he dies. And as you can see, I've only gotten eight, and I tried at least five games. It's really hard. The one I like is the proximity alarm. What it does is it beeps when there's an enemy near you. The upgrade version, after you get 100 kills using this, it beeps more frequently. And then the up advanced upgrade is it beeps the maximum frequency. So if there's an enemy near you, near you, near you, <laughs> if there's an enemy near you, it'll go beep. If it gets closer, it'll, it'll pick up the beeping. So it'll be like beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 depending on how close he gets. I like this, but it does confuse me, because um, sometimes he might be below me and he'll still beep. So, I don't know. But what I use is the armor enhance, and what this does is um, it reduces drain speed of energy in armor mode. If you didn't know, like, to be able to use this stuff, you have to use the energy. You only have a certain amount. You have 100% energy. Stuff takes it down. I'm not exactly sure how much this takes it down, but with this, uh, um, with this uh, module, it takes it down um, half as fast as it would if someone doesn't have it. The upgrade version also lets you run faster with armor on because you're really slow when you use armor so you know you can run around <clears throat> just as fast with armor on and be protected but when you do sprint it does take away your energy as well so it's kind of good to have this on. And then the advanced upgrade makes you um, uh, that jammer that nano suit jammer won't affect you so if the enemy gets a nano suit jammer and you have this on it won't affect you you'll still have your armor and all that stuff and you'll be good to go. The next one that are, is locked is the threat tracer. It highlights incoming bullet paths. I'm not sure how that would work or if that would be useful, but you know, you'd see the bullets coming at you before they kill you, which is probably kind of cool. Next is the nano recharge. Faster health recharge. Your health recharges faster. This seems like a really good one because um, you only have a certain amount of health, and if you're low health, you know, you want it to come back as fast as possible so you can get the hell out of there. Next is the detonation delay. It delays the detonation of a grenade. If a guy does throw a grenade at you, it will reset the timer so you have enough time to get away. Seems kind of useful because I have died by a grenade. But with the law, I mean, with the jaw, 
I'm pretty sure most people won't use grenades because they'll they'll just shoot you with a rocket launcher. So it doesn't seem that useful. And the last one is energy transfer, which restores 50% energy with each kill. This seems really useful uh, because, like I said, it will regain your energy <coughs> while you're using it. So if you, I'm pretty sure while you're using it. So you can have your armor on kill guy. Then you have full energy to continue to use your armor. So this seems like a really good one. So uh, to me, personally, armor enhance. Proximity alarm if you're new and you want to know that the enemy is by you so he doesn't sneak up on you with cloak or the energy transfer or the nano recharge are probably the best ones. Next is stealth. Uh, stealth enhance. What this does is uh, faster transition in and out of stealth, which uh, it lets you switch to stealth and switch out of stealth faster um, because you can't shoot, you can't you can't melee you can't do anything in stealth that like causes the enemy harm you'll lose all your energy and then you're helpless and you're pretty much screwed so you have to like you have to go into stealth and then if you want to kill the guy either switch to armor that's what i do i hit the other button instead of switching out of uh and um out of stealth but you have to switch out unless you do an assassination you can do that with that on the upgrade version makes it so your shadow you don't have a shadow when you're in stealth mode so the enemy can't see your shadow and then the advanced upgrade is, what is it? Um, reduced stealth energy drain. So it's kind of like the health. I mean, it's kind of like the armor enhance, but it reduces uh, <clears throat> the amount of stealth taken. So if you're a type of person that runs around, wants to be stealth all the time, this is the perk for you. That way you can be stealth longer without running out of time, like running out of energy. Energy. Um, covert Ops, this is what I use all the time. Um, covert Ops makes your footsteps silent, so it's like ninja, so the enemy can't hear you creeping up on them. Um, the upgrade version makes that Ceph gunship not shoot you, which is just amazing. If the enemy actually gets one on me, um, it's good that I have the Covert Ops so it doesn't kill me. <clears throat> and then the advanced upgrade makes the enemy footsteps louder so you can actually hear them. I'm not sure how that, well, how, like, how that works if they have Covert Ops on it. Can you still hear them or not? I'm not sure. But you can really hear the enemies like running like below you, above you, past you, whatever. Next one is Cloak Tracker. I don't like this one, um, but it, it identifies when enemies enter stealth mode nearby. And what that means is if they hit the cloak in front of you, you'll still be able to see them a little bit with this. The upgrade, I'm, I'm pretty sure it lets you see them better. And then the, advan the advanced upgrade is max yeah it lets you see them like almost perfectly you'll you'll know that if they went in in front of you that they're there you'll be able to see them it's not that useful i just use the covert ops next one is jammer it scrambles the radar of enemies within a range a 10 meter range um to me that seems useless uh it was on call of duty i'm not sure how it would in this game i do rely on my radar a lot more on this game so it might be helpful uh especially if you're above me and not on the same level as me It'd be helpful, but I'm going to know you're there if you're messing up my radar, so I'm not sure. Blind spot, it's kind of like um, ghost. You won't show up on the enemy's radars. I'm not sure what the pros do. Uh, tracker, highlights enemy's routes. This seems like a really cool <coughs> nano suit module just because if the enemy is running away from you, you'll be able to chase them and you know where they went because their footprints will, like, I guess, I don't know, show up or something. Then the last one is uh, Visor and Enhance. It highlights enemies through weapon scopes. So if you're aiming down the site, you'll be able to see the enemy, I believe. Oh. I think he shows up in red. He might show up in red. I'm not exactly sure, though. Again, it's not unlocked. Then the last ones are Power. Um, side Pack, it gives you uh, additional amp magazine of primary ammunition to be carried. The upgrade gives you an extra grenade, so now you have three grenades. It might also give you... I'm not sure if it's just grenades or if it's explosives. I'm not exactly sure. So it might give you another jaw. I'm not sure. And then the advanced upgrade, if I can remember, additional attachment ammo. So if you have an attachment on your gun, um, like the underbarrel, the what's the other ones? You know what I mean, the gauze thing and all that stuff. It'll give you more ammo for that. Next is Weapon Pro. This is like sleight of hand. Um, the upgrade version. Oh, what's the upgrade version? I can't remember what the upgrade version is. Um... But it has something to do with sleight of hand. I can't remember and I'm sorry. Might reload it faster. I'm not exactly sure. I never looked when I got it. But it does something. If you if you use this. It's really good on the MGs. I use it on the MG class. Um, I do have a video. You should go check it out. It's probably up or might be up after this video. I'm not sure. Of uh, me doing uh, flawless with the MG. So this is what I use. And then the advanced option makes um, faster weapon switch. So you can switch to your pistol faster. Which, which comes in handy. 
And then the last one that you can get is Weapon Enhance. I use this a lot. Um, it decreases weapon recoil when aiming down sight. So if you're shooting at a guy across the map, you'll have less recoil. comes in handy. The upgrade version does something that I'm not exactly sure. Like, it said something about something that's not in the game yet. So I don't know what it does. It might, like, work on, like, a stationary stuff or stuff like that. I'm not exactly sure. And then the Advanced Upgrade lets you what's it say increase mobility when aiming down sights so you can aim down the sights a lot faster i mean like like you can move and like get on your target if he's running a lot faster next one is loadout pro this kind of like um overkill and call of duty you get an extra primary gun instead of a uh, secondary gun then you have rapid fire increased rate of fire point fire enhance uh it's like steady aim you can reduce the spread of primary weapons when shooting from hip. Would be good on shotguns. Um, that way it's a tighter and you can kill the guy, I guess, more. Mobility enhance that reduces energy drain from sprinting and jumping. Like I said, everything uses energy. So if you're a sprinter or get out of the way, this would probably be good. Um, I do sprint a lot. I'm not sure how well this would come in handy because, you know, usually when I sprint, I'm sprinting to either find the enemy or get away from the enemy. So it might help. I'm not exactly sure. And the last one is retriever. This one is probably the best. The best thing for snipers, um, when you kill the guy, it automatically collects dog tags from killed enemies, which is awesome. Now, you can put this on other guns, you know, if you don't want the reload or the ammo or the aim enhance. When you kill a guy, you don't have to run over there, cross the map, risk your life to get his dog tags to get one kill streak, like, well, towards your support bonus. So that I might be using a lot. But that's it. That's all the ones. Um... That's everything in the game that you get. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys in a few seconds the guns that you start out with, and I'll talk to you guys about which one's the best ones to use and all that stuff. So, let's go. All right, so we're jumping into the game to teach you about the game. As you can see, it shows the map you're on, the game type you're playing, what you have to do. Um, it tells you your rank, and then it tells you the support bonuses. As you can see, it's maximum radar at 3, orbital strike at 5, and Seth gun, uh, air strike at 7. I kept saying gunship, sorry. Well, it's a summon of Seth gunship it's called a Steph airstrike um that's why i think that depending on the level it depends on the per uh the support bonuses you have because it shows you right here and everyone has that so we're going to start out when you start out the game you have four default classes and you're going to all have this you have um the assault which is a scar with a reflex sight the nova the frag grenade the air stomp which i said sucks uh the stealth enhance so you'll be able to switch in and out of stealth faster and then the side pack which uh it gives you you know I'm saying what everything is stock. It'll give you, um, oops, made me spawn. It'll give you a, uh, you know, additional ammo, one ammo, you know. Next is Scout. Scout is a shotgun. And you get the jackal with an iron sight. You get the pistol with a suppressor. You get a flashbang instead of a grenade, so you can only flash the enemy. Then you get the air stomp, which I said sucks. And then you get covert ops, so your foot would, your footprints would be uh, silent. And then you get weapon pro, which will reload you faster. If you can see minor plus plus whatever, that's because I have the advanced option. If you have the upgraded option, it'll say plus that, so it's the, the B, you know, it's the basic plus your upgrade. And then since I have both of them. Um, advanced it's plus plus that next is sniper now like I said snipers aren't that good maybe it's on this map but you get the sniper rifle with the sniper scope the sniper scope is um you can aim in and then uh, what am I trying to say you can aim in and then you can aim in again to get a headshot gives you the Nova pistol the flashbang the proximity alarm so you can hear the enemies beside you the cloak tracker so you can see when they go into um, if they use the cloak in front of you and then the side pack so you have more ammo and then the last class is the gunner which is the mk60 mod uh the machine gun with the nova pistol a frag grenade and then you have the armor enhance which uh reduces the armor you have like how long like you can be in armor twice as long then you have the covert ops which makes your de uh, footsteps silent and then you can have weaponry pro which uh makes you reload so now let's talk about what happens in the game i'm actually going to use my class Host Migration. Alright, gotta wait for the Host Migration. There's also Host Migration in this game if you guys didn't know. And uh, it's pretty awesome. It's actually really effective. I've never timed out a Host Migration on like Black Ops or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So it takes a little bit. But there we go. So we're spawning. Now if you can see on the radar at the bottom left there's a red dot. That means that that guy is the enemy and he is on the same level of me. If you see a red dot with a circle, like, a, like an outline of a red dot, or like an outline of a circle, it's red. That means he's on a different level 
Let's see if it shows it. But that means he's on a different level of me. So he might be above me. He might be below me. But he's by me. So a red full. There you might be able to see it. A full red dot means he's on the same level as you. And he's by you. Um, a circle. An, like a circle outline means he's by you. But he's on a different level. Alright now on the bottom. I just died. I'll wait to respawn. At the top right, you can see, and here's the kill cam. If you get a headshot, it goes slow mo. And that guy was sniping me. But as you can see on the top right, um, it says the score. Uh, the white is your score. The red is the enemy. And we have 14 to 13. Well, 14 to 14 right now. And then the time is on the right as well. It goes to 50. So whoever gets 50 win, at least in this game type. On the bottom right, you have your ammo. Uh, the, the, this machine gun has 100 bullets. When you shoot it, it takes it down. Then you can reload. And then below that, you have an energy bar. Uh, the energy bar starts at 100% and it regains energy pretty fast. Uh, but right below it, it has armor, power, and stealth. Depending on what you use. Right here, if we turn on our armor, this is what happens when you turn on your armor. Now I have double health. Also at the top left is um, the kill feed and a tree fell. But as you can see, since I have the armor enhanced on my class, it's taking the armor down really slow. If you didn't have it, your armor would go down a lot faster. So I turn it off. This guy's soon easy. Let's kill him real quick. Trying to make a video here. There we go. Um, but if you know, now since we get shot, your armor, your energy actually goes down as well if you're shot. So, but it's back up. Next is stealth mode. If you hit the right bumper, you know, it goes down. Now we don't have the stealth enhanced, so it goes down actually really fast, as you can see. A lot faster than what our uh, armor goes down. And if you actually do anything, if you shoot, it ruins it. And it'll go, and now you have no energy you know and you have to wait for it to rebuild so make sure you don't shoot you can't melee either and all that stuff now you can reload like when you're reloading you can cancel reload by hitting Y switches to your pistol but then you have to switch back um, you can also double tap Y to uh, oops, double tap Y shit I won't do it there we go double tap Y brings out uh, your grenade there we go grenade or you can also just hit the right Oops. Hit the right directional pad. They'll bring out the grenade. The bottom is this. You can see like people that are cloaked now. Um, but this is really hard. And it also takes your energy. So I don't really use that. And then the top one. I think this is like a zoom or something. I'm not exactly sure. Because you can't really do anything with it. But it does something. I, I'm not sure. Maybe it's something for. Oh. Wow. Wow. You can actually look. If you hit the left trigger. You can actually aim in and stuff. But I don't really use that. But yeah. So that's pretty much all you can do. Um. Also, if you're reloading, you can uh, hit the B button to cancel your reload. Let's see if it does it. Yeah, see, that cancels your reload. Um, also, if you're shooting, you can hit B as well. So it's pretty good. And then there's power. I'm not sure what would use power right now. Uh, but one of them will use power, like if you do the jump and stuff. Oh, wait. That's power. If you, if you hold an A, you do a super jump. And it takes, let's see how much it takes. Wait for it to get up. It takes 80. So it takes 20 energy to super jump. The stealth takes away energy pretty fast. I can't really calculate that. And then the armor takes away half that. But it's the same fastness. And then the super jump, like I said, is 20. So if you do super jump, you know, uh, a lot before you give it time to rebuild. Now, you know, I'm screwed. And also, let's do this. If you run out completely, it takes a lot longer for it to... You're really weak. Oh, that guy saw me jump in. Hang on. I'll do it again. Um, there's also a spawn delay of like five seconds or something like that. But if you uh, jump and you use it all... Let's see. If you use it all, it takes longer for it to rebuild. So you want to make sure that you never go red. Because it takes longer takes like a little bit plus you're really weak then you could die really instant you can also sprint sprinting takes uh like 10 I, th I don't know it takes it pretty fast probably just as fast as health i mean like uh energy and stuff and then the last thing you can do is slide which oops that did, failed you have to sprint and then slide um it doesn't take anything but while you're doing the slide it's still taking the sprint so so yeah but that's that's pretty much it. Um, a good tips on how to play is uh, when running out in the open, you want to be in stealth mode so they can't see you maybe. Run around with your pistol if you need to get there fast. It does take down your energy, but like if you're using that stealth enhance. Also, the pummel with a pistol, you know, it's easier. Pummel's one shot if they don't have armor on. If they do have armor on, it's two shots. Oh, what was that? Dirt. Awesome. You can super jump up on the stuff. 
You can also just jump and it'll pull you up to get up on like the roof up there. Let's see. We'll run like this. We'll use our thing. I don't know. I'm just showing you guys some tips on what to do. You can jump up here and now you're up here. And also, um, you know, it's just comes in handy. Also, you can jump up here like this or you can come down here. So this is going to make stuff amazing. You can come up here and jump up here like this. That guy didn't even see. And then jump up like this. And, you know, in case you guys didn't know how to get up there. But there's going to be a lot of places where you can get on the maps. Also, I run with ammo, armor. And uh, I'm not sure how many of the pistol is. Oh, also, I'm going to talk to you guys about kills. If the guy does not have armor on, and as you can see, I picked up his dog tank. Uh, and also, if you have the armor on and then you run out of energy, you have to turn it off. If you don't turn it off, it won't regain until you turn it off. But um, if the guy runs out of armor, I mean, if the guy has armor on, it's around 20 shots. We'll just say 20 shots with, like, the scar and stuff. Look, one punch. See, there I got a UAV. But how? Oh, no, I didn't because my dog tag stayed. That's all. One more thing. If you do die and you didn't pick up your dog tags, let's see if it'll let me. You can, I think you have, I'm not sure exactly the time. But you have like 30, I'll say 30 seconds. I'm going to make up my own time because that's how awesome I am. You have 30 seconds to come back and get it. So if, you know, a good strategy would be, you know, kill like three people and then die. And then you can go, well, you know, like if you have to die, then go pick them up. But, yeah, but that's pretty much all I can tell you guys. Uh, go out and play it. Um, you know, just keep watching my videos on Crisis 2. They'll, you know, they'll teach you how to play stuff. But that's it, guys. The game's 50 and 44. We won. I didn't really do anything. I got like three kills but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please thumb it up i worked really hard on this to try to talk to you guys and teach you guys and hopefully i did a good job but other than that guys if you have any questions on crisis 2 just oh sorry just let me know i'll try to help you out and other than that go watch my other videos if you want to learn more tips and stuff and take care guys